This Star Wars Destiny video is sponsored by Face to Face Games Toronto. They're currently running a special promotion for VTTV viewers. If you spend more than $100 on an order of Star Wars Destiny cards, you can choose from one of the three legendary cards displayed on screen right now to include in your order for free. If you spend $200 or more, you will receive all three. Face to Face Games is selling everything from Awakenings and Spirit of Rebellion singles, to Spirit of Rebellion booster boxes, to full Saga sets for both Spirit of Rebellion and Awakenings. Anything you could possibly need to round out your collection. So either email them directly at Toronto at facetofacegames.com or visit stores.ebay.com slash facetofacegamestoronto. Face to Face Games will ship to both the US and Canada. A link to the full details can be found in the video description. And don't forget to tell them which promo you'd like to receive and that VTTV sent you. Thank you for supporting VTTV Live. Hello, and welcome to round three of the Revenge of the Sixth tournament from Face to Face Games. Uh, it was a Spirit of Rebellion release tournament that took place on May 6th here in Toronto. Uh, this is VTTV, and my name is Travis. And I'm Shane. And uh, we have uh, two new players on the stream here. We have uh, John Chan on the left, and we have Dominic uh, down from Barry on the right-hand side here. Uh, Dominic's playing uh, IG-88 uh, Findeck. Uh, I think it's pretty, pretty, it will be a pretty common sight. FN's great. Uh, IG's got some pretty great dice. And uh, again, we have another Vader Raider uh, on the left hand side. Vader Raider was the most represented deck here with five people playing it. Um, what do you think of this matchup, Shane? Who do you think uh, has the edge? I think, well, I think Vader Raider has the edge. I mean, we saw the world how good it is and it's just gotten better. I don't know how many Spirit of Rebellion cards because it's very early, but I do see uh, Fast Hands, I believe, in his can. So Fast Hands and Bait and Switch are just. Basically, almost auto includes if you have them in for this deck. They're just very, very good. Uh, so both those boost. Now, FN is is quite a good character. I mean, 10, 11 health for ten points. Cool. Yeah, and his ability is great. So whenever you play an, uh, a weapon on FN, you have the ability to roll out that die immediately and resolve it. So it gives you a chance when you play it. Like he's going to play his uh, holdout blaster here. He's going to roll it in right away. Uh, and then if it's a side that he can use, he can resolve it. It's back on FN for when FN activates. So I, sorry, I missed the roll for the battlefield because I think somebody forgot to take shields. Somebody should have shields here. Yeah, I think Dominic should have shields here. Hopefully yeah. they do remember that at some point. And uh, we were talking about uh, the choice of Maz's castle as the battlefield, which is an interesting one. I mean, traditionally Vader Raider was an Imperial Armory. Or occasionally, depending on how much you love the Holocron, uh, you, they would use Emperor's Throne Room. Um for the battlefield. And I see here he switched to Maz's Castle, undoubtedly to search for that Holocron or other cards that he needs. It lets you draw two when you claim and put as many as you want at the bottom of your deck. So you right. can, I mean, you could draw two and then put seven <laughs> at the bottom to draw five new ones, right? Uh, so you can dig through your deck pretty quick. Uh, he plays a new card, Doubt, which is also quite good in this deck. And it's a neutral. So you, I think it's, you know, not that villain need a lot more control cards, but as you can see, you have to re-roll a dice and immediately resolve it. So when you're playing against somebody who has a lot of modifier sides, like yeah. a and Boz they, or a Ray, can be it can really be crappy. Right. He just realized that he uh, forgot the shields at the beginning, so he just put one on IG and one on FN. Mm -hmm. And you can see, um, so he put, uh, oh, he split them, okay. But you see how valuable FN is uh, in the sense that, the you know, the 20-point character didn't get both the shields. <laughs> Um, yeah, he didn't have, uh, I'm you know, so, so a little bit surprised he didn't, uh, overwrite, uh, on FN to get another roll. Does he have a, he has a, he's a Viber Knife. He's got a Viber Knife, yeah, for another ambush. Yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe. Oh, he, I don't think he used his ambush. The other point there. I think, uh, he rolled a zero, didn't activate yeah. and passed the turn. So. Yeah, you have to, you have to remember that. I mean, there's a lot more ambush in the game now, um, on a number of cards with Spirit of Rebellion. So what we're referring to is is the common FN tactic of uh, just overriding your upgrades, seeing what you get, claim it if you can, and then override with another one to get another free roll. Um, you can often get it like a resource or shield off of that, just essentially for free. Uh, you're going through your deck pretty quick, but he's not facing a mill deck. He is facing Vader, which can actually inadvertently, if the game goes longer, cost you a oh, lot of cards. What is he doing now? He doesn't have the resource. He doesn't have the resource. So he's, he's just saying, he's just writing off the, the yeah, hold on blaster right. dice. Yeah, he's running off the whole of Blaster Dice. So he has Ambush again. 
see if he remembers to to discard to reroll. I I myself will get rid of the IQ. I don't really particularly like IQA in uh, in FM, but I mean it's, it's just because it has limited sides for you to use. I think there's only only half of them can you use on the on the roll. And uh, FN uh, is paired with IG here, but FN has uh, two melee sides, so you can't always use your the results as well. Don't do it. Oh, oh and he starts the redeploy. Um, the redeploy weapon. Well, it's early in the game, so he probably doesn't have to worry too much about redeploy. <laughs> But it is quite good. That the, the baton is is actually really good. You see two blank sides on it, but act, but you get to re-roll it. Right. So when once you roll it into play, you have the option of re-rolling it. So you have a second chance if you want a better result. And all four sides uh, are things that uh, FN can resolve immediately. One of them does require a resource, mm -hmm. um, but it, it's just it's a really great card. It changes, that redeploy really helps. Changes the odds from one to six to one and nine of a yeah. blank. Uh, you see the Vader, uh, the, the Raider is pulling the weight here. Um, he rolled in a three for one. The resources are there. Uh, with one card left, I can see why I didn't want to discard to resolve that immediately. It's unlikely that he has a control. I right. can wait. Uh, is there any, there's no yellow. Uh, oh, I, Dominic, I bet really wishes he had a resource because he could use IG special. Right. And one resource to get back a flamethrower. Yeah. <laughs> Should be nice, but he unfortunately doesn't have that, and he has very little chance of, <laughs> of a reroll on the Viber Blade, although it does have a resource. I just had to be sure to get the damage, yeah. Or no, it doesn't have a resource size. It has, sorry, it has one mill and one shield, or one discard and one shield. Yep. So we're seeing um, Trust Your Instincts, which lets you reroll and draw a card. So it's kind of a cantrip uh, type thing that I can see being quite good in Vader because you just want those rerolls to use Vader's very good dice. Right. So you get a reroll and you get another chance for another reroll. So he's all in on looking for the Holocron. He's got Maz's Castle. He's yeah. got Trust Your Instincts to draw more cards. Oh. If only he could have uh, the uh, Diary of Ben Kenobi. Right. <laughs> so Dominic realizes the chances that he's going to play that card are pretty low, mm -hmm. so it's worth discarding even for the one die. I mean, there's, there's good solid damage on IG, as you can see. He mm -hmm. rolled in a three, it looks like. Um... Although I'll find out that I'm reading the monitor badly. It's, it's just a two. Mm -hmm. So he drew in, he has another trust. Oh, trust your instincts, which he discards or he plays, I would imagine, and draws again. Yeah. He's going quite deep oh, into your deck. Fast hands. Now, Vader with two fast hands can be quite frightening. Because all your control cards, or often your control cards, become less useful only on the reroll. But what did he... He's Mazda's Oh, he has Mazda's So he drew two cards, and he put the jetpack at the bottom, which I thought was an interesting choice. I don't know which one he kept. But I think he just wants to dig deeper for something. Probably maybe armor plating. So fast hands on the Raider. I mean, it saves you the discard of the card when you want to activate everything. But Raider has the built-in fast hands. So I think that's it does, but if you're going to start putting... like, It feels really bad when you overwrite the fast hands with if you want that second upgrade on Vader. So... I, I suppose I, can, I, can I don't see know. It going both ways, wouldn't I? Mean it's a zero cost upgrade. You're not losing anything. If you, you know. He's making full use of all those cards <laughs> that yeah. he drew from Trust Your Instincts, uh, and he got the damage. I mean, the, it, the other thing is, if you're only rolling in the the two dice, it, I mean, what are the chances that they're both going to be things you want to activate yeah. immediately, yeah. right? So without a chance to get, get a good side, I, I don't know if you're... There's gonna... a lot of good sides. Got the damage and the disrupt can be quite devastating. Absolutely, yeah. But the chances that they're both going to be two that you want to use right away. I think it's if you're playing me, hundred percent. I'd say <laughs> Vader's gonna roll two dice. He has to use right away. Uh, so, but fast hands are the only upgrades that um, the Vader Raider deck has. Um, so we got IGs with a solid dice, and we have an upgrade on the other side. So all those more damage. It's only slightly more. So I, I you know, I kind of like where IG is in it. Right now, uh, we'll see what kind of upgrades and stuff control he can he can draw. Like we said, but it'd be very easy for Vader to finish him off this turn, even. Uh, it's possible, um, but you know, I guess it's the one extra life. I mean, IG can't do the same, but the pair could. So yeah. IG uh, rolled out three shields. If he wants to take them for a dollar, there's no vibro knife. It might be worth it because right? he's one he's one four strike away from dying. Absolutely. So well, <laughs> you roll out Tuscan and he hits the right side. There's nothing he can do but to yeah. dead. So or, or he's probably found a four. I mean, you would have to guess number of cards he's drawn that a four strike probably is likely right. in his hand. Uh, so let's see what Dominic does. Uh, he might uh, be kind of cavalier. He does have the ambush, so he's still got the option, but he uses money, so he can take one shield at most. We'll see what the Viber Knife gives him. And even the one shield is not bad, because it means one dice isn't yes. going to kill him. Yeah. 
Well, at least he can use it. Yep, he resolve it. Absolutely. Maybe it gets the force check. <laughs> it's always nice to do what Vader would he to do to Vader what he does to you. He may also be thinking just pure damage. Like I don't want those shields. I'll take the risk, and I'm just going to get some damage out of IG. But it only works if IG's alive. Absolutely. Uh, the, the oh, there's that, the force strike in his hand. That's, so that, the, the fact that he's dead to one yeah, dies. It just, there, there's IG gone. Yeah. So the force strike was in his hand. I didn't see it before. So that's what I would have been worried about having you know. Well, between the force run strike, up against a lot of Vader. <laughs> yeah. Between the force strike, between the, the, the Tuscan rolling out well. Yeah. I, yeah, that was pretty risky, and it's probably the sh- you know so possibility of three shields and actually mitigating all that damage. Losing IG in turn two is a problem. It's a huge problem. Um, I mean, we have a double vibro knife FN, uh, which isn't bad, um, but it, you know he needs to do <laughs> he needs Those... to do sixteen points of damage, which you know it's a lot when you have thirteen health on your own. That being said, he has three dice to three dice. They're just not yeah. as quality. Yeah, I, th- I think he just has to re-roll those to try to get some more damage. Yeah, the flamethrower I don't think is worth much to him. I mean, the specials doesn't really matter that much in this matchup. It's a lot of pay sides when he wants to spend all his money on upgrades. Well, I mean, he's not going to have be able to spend that much more money on upgrades for very long. He's got one more turn. And then... He's going to be doing some overriding, for sure. Yeah. Um, and I don't think the flamethrower... Like, there's a blank fiber knife. Like, he might want to overwrite with the ascension gun. He could. We can also do but the one that's... He overwrites cool. with the... Okay. Now... I guess it's not bad. It's, Flamethrower only has one pay side, but you know, it is a bit risky. The, the nice, well, unfortunately. I think you just want to, to increase your damage as you go. So yeah. the, the chance is that he rolls something that can't use this turn, but it gives him more damage uh, down the Right, road. and get more draw. He's not really close to milling himself out, so he just wants to get more upgrades, more control. Okay, Tuscan. The f- Pretty bad rule. I yeah. mean, the shield will help. I mean, it is a damage race. I, I, I would not. Run. I would, yeah. Hopefully he discards here and does not overwrite. So I think Vader's... What's Vader sitting on? I, it's hard to tell. I think a Mind Probe and an Enrage, um, but I'll have to get a better look. He's got a fair amount of money and a Holocron, so I don't know if the Enrage is really that... Oh, no. Deflect and a force, another Force Strike. Hmm. That's because then he's got mostly melee dice at this point on Dominic's side. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the deflect I don't think is going to help him. He's only got the... the well, no, the flamethrower is... It, oh, flamethrower is melee too. Yes. So, yeah. It's got one side to use it with. Okay, so ascension gun gone. Yeah, what is he... He claimed. So he gets to pick. Or... Yeah, he claimed on Maz's castle. Oh, yeah, right. I keep forgetting right. Maz's castle. It's like, why are people Oof, so Those are pretty nice. The deflect you might want to bury and keep the rest. Oh, yeah, because he's still got a yellow character for electric shock, isolation, force... He's got a lot of control there. Yeah. Especially when um, Dominic's only working with four dice. Having two control cards, you can pretty much neuter his turn. Only working with three days. Oh, that's right. Single day. Uh, only worth, yeah. You can see so you've neuter his turn with, with two yeah. control dice. All right, let's reroll these. Uh, Flamethrower special, another discard. Yeah, one damage to both. Start. Two damage. Better than nothing. Yep. I mean, Tuscan is is probably going to... I mean, this the Holocron is going to eventually hit, uh, probably sooner rather than later. Uh, so he's going to start getting big, uh, but yeah. Vader's a real problem right now. You have to get rid of Vader's Vader as soon as possible. And it's, it hurts FN to have to discard that card because he wants to, when he starts the three upgrade rover, overwrite thing, he wants every card in his hand. Either there's some control he desperately needs or some upgrade he's going to use to re- overwrite. Huh. Calm link. Uh, that's not one I would expect. Um, personal shield, I do see, you know, if I'm, I'm range decks are still a thing, and Awakenings hold over, you're really scared of range, and it's a very good, very good against range. Right. But Calm Link is not a weapon. It's not yellow equipment. Right. So it's it's kind of a control upgrade, but, you know, I'd, I'd be interested to ask him why that included in this deck. Well. So Vader much, rolls in four, I believe. Uh, he discards personal shield, not very helpful. What it does is lets you, if you take range damage over two, two or over, you can and, exhaust to get a shield. And it has uh, three three sides that have yeah. shields on them. And one is there's a one, there's a two, there's a three for one. Three for one. Yeah, and so Vader uh, fast hands in uh, his 
is two damage. Now, Viber Knife's on the field. That's another reason why Personal Shield is a good discard, because right. the shields are not going to help you at all with Viber Knife on the field. Uh, it's the it's the Spirit of the Rebellion meta, where shields are really only good for reposting nowadays. For reposting, I guess. All right, well... <laughs> you're going to use it. Uh, and he has the ambush again, so... Is he thinking that he might not use it and save it for... for uh, he doesn't like he you. Doesn't like you. Um, but he might, well, yeah, good. Yeah, that's true. He could do that because he has the ambush, but okay. he does use it. So he takes a shield again. The vibro knife is out. I, those two shields will probably stay the entire game. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, he could have, he doesn't like to use the vibro knife. Well, and not only that, the Tuscan does have a, um, you know, a three for one, uh, range damage side. So the shields will help with that. So the shields it's are not, it's three for one melee. Oh, three for one. Sorry, he has a one ranged. He has yeah, one range. Yeah, he has sure. one range. And some of the upgrades have range. So they might come into play, just not as effective as they would have been right. before. So FN rolls on a pretty decent damage set for him. I mean, he's doing two damage off a of flamethrower, mm -hmm. one off his melee, and but one off. You don't care about damage to the Tuscan at this like, No. You need to get there. Well, you do need to get there eventually. But you need to finish Vader. Yeah, he needs he needs that uh, two, I believe, he can get for free. Um, you need that. But this FM, even with those upgrades, is not going to do a ton of damage. It's just not, especially if you have no money. If you had money, you know, you could do six <laughs> um, sort of thing uh, for two resources. But, you know, the, the big FM oh, thing is... They're forgetting. No, they're not forgetting. It's less the dice and, and more the, the ability. Yes. And the, hit, and the health, frankly. 11 health is just phenomenal when you have an ability. <laughs> you know, and not terrible dice. They're not ray level bad. No, they're not. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. It, it, he seems like really powerful he's, for the cost. Oh, he's definitely undercosted, uh, depending on which character you compare him against. But uh, certainly, yeah, at, at 13 for an elite <laughs> with 11 health is so good. I mean, you can be paired with so many different villains. Yeah. I mean, you could be Young Vader like we saw in the last game. Uh, deflect comes into play. You always hate to see that. When you got a lot of melee things and you know they're sitting on deflects in their hand... <laughs> <laughs> you roll with that one range for them yeah. to, get, to to. Oh yeah. And the Tuscan still has to roll in. Um, so. So yeah. So FN certainly falling behind. I mean, he had a looked like he had a good health total. Looked like he had potential, but. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's a long road for him to come back here. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, it's it's really hard to do on a vibro knife with a blank, uh, but he doesn't like you on that vibro knife. Might have not been bad uh, when it first came out, right? Just to use the shields. Yeah. Well, you we might as well just get rid of the damage uh, mm -hmm. that the two melee, right? So Vader Raider, uh, given his oh, he's going, he's going to fast hands. Yeah, he could he could fast hands the focus. He could focus into the three for one, and then uh, use the Tuscan ability to claim it right away. Uh, can you do that? Uh, yeah, I think yes, you're right. You I think you can. Yeah. yeah, I was just thinking it through. I think you can. I think you can. Well, we we can do it one word or the other, anyways. Yeah, yeah. I think you're right. So you could just discard a card. So he's looking at Kylo Sabers. You know, the favorite upgrade of this deck. Um, but he has a doubt in his hand. No, a four strike and electroshock. Uh, that's a tough one. Um, given he's got money, I would get rid of the electroshock. But yeah. Oh no, he only had one. Okay, yeah. So the Kylos is a good choice because. He, other than riding over the Vibro knife, which would be a mistake, he did, it's gonna, he's not going to get that card out. Yeah. And that's another three to FN. FN's yeah. down to four life. Vader is sitting at five. Tuscan six. Four to 11 is, is a tough go here. Yeah. I think he's got a hope for the miracle here. He's got to use the thermal detonator, I think. I mean, it's damage once on a rare chance instead of damage next turn. Yeah. He could put it straight over top of the flamethrower. Although he'll have money next time, so he can get four off the flamethrower. I, I know, but he, I think he has to get damage in now. So he yeah, and just to roll it in. Yeah, roll it in and hope for the special. I think that would be a good play. Although, I mean, yeah, he doesn't even have the dollar to spend. Or, no, he does have the dollar to spend. So uh, the flamethrower special is not paid. There's one pay and one not pay, I believe. Which is the thermal detonator. Yeah. Thermal detonator, yeah. yeah. So I'm just saying, the chances are if you have the dollar, you're much... Dominic's you're on the ball. He's, 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 he's agreeing with commentators. See in the future. Oh, oh, he's thinking Can't it over. Decide. It's tough to give up the flamethrower, but yeah, I don't think he's in a like he needs just luck, some luck here. I think. Yeah, well, he, and, he needs and to six put... damage would be really nice. Like you could use the one and up, up overwrite the whole blaster. 
It's not a bad, because the Hold Up Blaster has got a pay side, a one side, and a plus on range damage, which you don't have a lot of. I don't know about this. I could see it. Well. Yeah. yeah sure. Yep. He's, he's, he... Oh, oh he gets Dominic. It. Good job. All right. So Thermal Detonator gets to deal three damage. Discard the card, deal three damage to both characters. Which is phenomenal with IG. Yeah. Because IG can just bring her back for one. <laughs> on his special, of course. So that, that, that was, I mean, that, okay, so that is actually pretty big to get Vader to two because there's a lot of upgrades you could just roll in and kill Vader. Absolutely. So one, an overwrite uh, with Hold Up Blaster with I another think, Viber I, Knife. I think all of his ambush two-pointers are gone. No, but he gets to just roll it in. Like right there, those knucklers? No, I know, but the ambush would let him try multiple times, right? The ambush would definitely let him try. But if he rolls in those knucklers, which have two damage side, even if he gets the one, he can pay an extra. And sure. do do damage. So he's got a one in three chance if he overwrites with the knucklers. I think I see a bait and switch in his hand, maybe not. Which would be weird in an IG deck with no resource side, but so good fast hands here, presumably. Yeah. The two So he's down Fiber to... knife. Down to two life. Oh one life. No. Oh he took a three. Was he it didn't a three? Just... I thought it was a two. Oh man. Alright. Yeah, yeah, I think it was a three. Either, or he meant to change in the one, but I think it was a three. Yeah, I think it was a three. So, yeah, he's just got to try. He's got to play the over again. Because he's going to die from the Vibro Knife <laughs> this turn. Yep. Okay, so he goes to save the resource. Fair enough. Oh, gets the blank. Why Unfortunate. Save, why save the resource? Well, he can still survive here, right? He had the one and three. No, the Vibro Knife's on one. He's got no, ten. I, I know, ten but he's got a, he doesn't like he's you. He's just so. got to hit the so he'll he'll oh, oh, no, he, he can't use the he doesn't like you. It that was his action. Oh, he doesn't play the card. No, he can't do that. He doesn't have ambush. He doesn't have ambush. He installed the uh he installed a, a upgrade, that was his action. You're right. Oh, the cheating. <laughs> <laughs> villains. Yeah. Villains! I don't know if it makes it okay that he Well he's got a backup muscle right there, so it's not gonna make one lick of difference. That's true. He, <laughs> he missed his ambush a number of times earlier. The 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 um the ending of all yellow villain decks. <laughs> Yeah. Games? Back of muscle. Sorry. <laughs> Alright. Well, I think we tried to play this game too much for them, but uh yeah. Dominic made it close to the end. Oh yeah, for sure. I think I think it was a close game. Like I think he you know, he had a chance to kill Vader and the Tuscan's at eight five damage. That is close. Wait a though. second. I did not realize he had the ride baton in this. Why did he not roll the ride baton in? He could have too. For uh yeah, well it had a and he could have re-rolled. But after you re-roll, I don't know what the official thing is, but after you re-roll, I don't think you can resolve it. Why not? Um, because it's not immediately. Uh, oh, you're on, right. On FN. You're right. Although I don't know if there's been an official ruling on that. No, that, no, that makes sense. Oh, he's trying. <laughs> he's testing it out, seeing he's if he would have got it. Yeah, no. Nope. Doesn't matter. All right. Well, that was a good game between these two. Uh, Vader Raider continues to show its dominance. Uh, RG88 shows that uh, even if it gets off to a bit of a rough start, it still can... Uh, to put in some work, mm-hmm. um, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens in the next round. We'll be back with round four soon. Don't forget to check out the Face to Face Games Legendary Madness promotion. Find the full details in the video description.